Let's think close. Closer. Closer. What if we could save the planet using the very things that are harming it? That sounds a bit like a sci-fi problem, I know. But I don't mean, for example, the Millennium Falcon. I mean something just as revolutionary. Internal combustion engines. Um, then the center of which is going to be banned in just eight short years. And the very things I've lost since I was three years old. What if there's an alternative? Because the banning cells want to stop the driving and it want to stop second hand cells. So the emissions very much exists. And obviously you can't give, you can't exactly ban every single IC car from driving because how's anyone gonna to, to get to work, school, anywhere, anywhere fun? So the policies the government has are pretty much irrelevant. The bare minimum, to say the least. We need an act of compromise. What is it? So it starts with the manufacturers. Manufacturing cars that manufacture pollutants. But technology is advanced, it can be recaptured, reused, most certainly limited. So why are we holding them accountable? Why aren't we making them part of the road? Say, often an estimate of your CO2, please. And if they don't, well, hold them accountable again. That's going to begin accelerating you enough change to help cars accelerate. That helps, doesn't it? Then, amidst the swarm of electric cars we've got and hybrids having now been sold, and the average emissions are going to tumble. And for the ones that do still emit, there are compromises. Folks, what? You've heard of them from Dieselgate, and if you haven't, um, you've been living under a rock. But Dieselgate has made their influence. But to those who just dismiss them, I say, au contraire. Because Volkswagen's X01 is a behemoth of a machine. It emits just 28 grams of CO2 per kilometer, which is very good, by the way. And it goes 650 kilometers out a full tank, and it's a hybrid, a uh, diesel one. So it uses just 0.9 litres of diesel every 100 kilometers. Pretty different. So this is one of the most efficient cars ever, eclipsing every electric car that currently exists, especially the ones we found at Goodwood last week. It's proof that hyper-efficient cars work, and with the kind of climate that we're getting now, where cars are getting smaller, more efficient, and for more urban environments, seeing, for example, Toyota, it's a foolproof method. Why, why are we accelerating this going on right now? Um, if it adds up, let's do it. And there's more news. Petrol and diesel aren't the only fuels to exist. I know, it's shocking. But biofuels are formed from biomass. I know, crazy too. You completely skip fossils. It is reusing what's already here instead of extracting a lump of coal from the most depth of the ground, which is disgusting. Um, you skip the inefficient processes, see the oil spills, for example. And biofuels don't really really CO2. That's good, no? The plants would have promoted it in the first place. So in effect, you've got a net nothing. They use algae, synthetics that don't hurt food and farmland. So it's well, better. And to round up this ground tour of how ground tours can be saved, um, more fuel, you heard that correctly. Porsche is making e-fuels that actually use CO2 in the fuel. They've invested 75 million in the process recently and they're going to be using the motorsport. They're carbon neutral, meaning that the impact is no once again across the entire process. So again, it's nil, there's no emission. We're all free, we're safe. Um, that means these cars can just face through. And effectively, cars are saved, right? That's better. And most cars won't even need that much of a change, if any. So, if you want be all end all solution to saving the car as we know it, and I certainly do, We've just seen multiple, right there. And this may be the most revolutionary change to our four-wheel machines that we've seen in a long time. So with that, here's my closing thought. Many millions are reserved to change their life for climate change. Not least give up something they love most, like I do. But if we actually do something, do we need to change that much at all? I think you